Welcome, everyone. Today, I'm talking to you from NATO Monastery up in the hills over Kathmandu in Nepal. And I'm leading a month long teacher training here. And it's just a fantastic experience seeing the growth of the students、um, and how much they learn. Really remarkable. In two weeks, it feels like we've been studying for over two years. And the amount of transformation and change they're going to take for their life is at least as equal as that. Maybe one day you'll join me. Don't forget to check out Doron Yoga, you'll have all the information there. One of the questions that comes up. Is the question of who am I? What about this soul and non soul? And how do we deal with that in Buddhism where it's existent but not existent? Relative, absolute. I promised a few sessions on these. But I just wanted to give you something to ponder on today, something maybe that can lead later on to a deeper meditation that will help you understand who you are. I walked up the mountain today, and、uh, it's our free day, so I had a little time to get to nature. And as I walk up, it's pretty steep. I walk quickly. Partway up, I'm already sweating. I stop to catch my breath, and as I catch my breath, my body cools down a bit. The sweat that's on my skin disappears. Where did it go? Most of us don't think about it, but it evaporated. Evaporated became part of maybe later on a cloud. This cloud at some point will pour rain, maybe over a farm. Maybe it'll be in the ground and the lettuce will drink it up. Somebody will eat this lettuce. Maybe me, maybe you, maybe someone else. Somebody ate the lettuce that consisted of the water that was mixed, and originally, part of it came from me, my sweat. How is that possible? Are they me now? Is the lettuce me? I keep walking. It's rainy, there are leeches around. A leech comes in, sucks some of my blood. The leech now has my blood. That was its food. Is the leech me? But my blood is there. Am I the leech? So often, We really think that we are unique, special, and consistent. We believe that we are never changing. Oh, maybe a few wrinkles, but not really on that every moment level. I drank water. This water came from the river that came from the rain. Am I the river? I use the toilet. It goes down to another field, grows other vegetables. Everything, everything is both constantly changing and constantly dependent on everything else. Nothing, neither me nor you, have a real, consistent, never changing existence. What do you think? Can you give me other examples? How are things related, connected, interdependent? Would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you for now, and I promise a lot more videos coming soon. Namaste.